Welcome back to the Don Mar Warehouse. My name is Michael Longhurst and I'm the Artistic Director here. I am so pleased that we have managed during the pandemic to refit and remodel our theatre. We seized the opportunity to carry out some essential works to improve your experience when we came back together. We've transformed the front of house spaces, added an accessible entrance with a street level ramp and a new lift. We've opened up the bars. I'm also so excited that our associate artist, Tom Scott, has designed a stunning three-tier mural that runs all the way through the building on the lift shaft. You'll also be delighted to hear that there are many more loos. I am so grateful to the donors and funders that have made this work possible. You have helped us transform our space and seize this window of closure to genuinely future-proof our theatre for audiences and artists. We're so, so grateful. Thank you. I hope we've made a space that is convivial and exciting for us to share so that artists and audiences can come back together again to enjoy some great theatre together. First up in our new season is a brand new commission, a new play by Cordelia Lynn. It's a searing, beautiful, tender and provocative exploration of a relationship between a young Jewish physicist and an activist poet. Against the backdrop of society crumbling with protest and government changes, the play brilliantly explores how this couple navigate the world and each other and looks at cycles of history and the change that's happening in our society around us. Love and Other Acts of Violence is directed by the brilliant Elise Ismail. It's an incredibly explosive start to our season. Next up, I'll be directing a brand new stage adaptation of Ruben Oslin's award-winning black comedy, Force Majeure. Following a family who take a skiing trip to the Alps to spend some quality time together, and we all know how that works out on stage, we will be able to enjoy the very brilliant Rory Kinnear and Lindsay Marshall negotiating the holidays from hell together. And their relationship and their family bond is stretched to breaking point in this brilliant and excruciating comedy, which I think will be a perfect treat for the winter. Following this, we have Kit Harrington as the titular role in Henry V. A dream role for him, he will be taking on the crown in this thrilling modern dress exploration of what it means to lead England as we explore our relationship to the continent and how power is held by those who rule us. Directed by Max Webster, whose production of Life of Pi transferred to the West End this season. And closing our season will be Mary's Seacole by the very brilliant Jackie's Sibley's Jury. Her play is a thrilling, form-busting, funny and explosive exploration of what it means to be a black woman who is paid to care. I'm thrilled that we're reuniting Nadia Latif and her creative team from their hit production of Fairview, Jackie's last piece in London.